My name is Winston Clapper. I'm a high school apprentice here at the Museum of Jewish Heritage, and today I'll be interviewing Ruth Pogursky about her memoir. Hello. Hello. So, what inspired you to write a memoir? I began writing because I, when I came to America and I wanted to tell people about my experiences, nobody wanted to listen. And I was afraid that I will forget things, and I started to write. And that goes back to 1946. That's a long time ago, right? Uh, and whenever I had nightmares, I would get up and I would write down about why I'm awake, why I had these nightmares. And it sort of followed. And then at one point, I just um, had my family and everything was, was going well. And everybody said, you've got to publish. You have to put this down. You have to write it down because otherwise, It'll get lost. And there you go, finished product. Very good. So what was the most challenging part about writing your memoir? The, the memories. It was very painful. I did not have, you see, in those years when I first came, nobody knew about post-traumatic stress. This, this was not a word that was talked about. And yet, we were so traumatized, we, the survivors who came here, and I think, in retrospect, speaking would have been easier because you have an audience, you see somebody alive. When you sit and you write, you see only that part. And that was a big challenge. Sounds difficult. What do you hope people will take away from your work? I hope that they will remember a time in which the world almost annihilated itself and a time when people will not be racist, when people will recognize each other's heritage, and a time for no more war. And I'm saying this at a time when we are in war again. Since I was liberated in 1945, I have been talking and praying against war, no more war. Please God, no more war. And there hasn't been one year without a war someplace. So that was a big challenge, and still is, still is. I went to Auschwitz with my, some of my family, and in the crematoria, which now are kind of falling apart, on the wall, it probably scratched in blood or whatever it was, and it said in Hebrew, Zahor, and then Yiddish, Gedenkt, and remember. That's a challenge. If I survived, I have to make sure that we will remember.